us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question 4. Factorize completely 7x squared minus 7. So this question always again comes, it will come either as an equation to solve, but the steps involve you factorizing. So this one is easier. So what we do is we need to start by factoring out the 7, because 7 can go into both. So we're going to have 7 outside. So 7x squared minus 7. So this one is equal to 7 outside. Then 7 into 7x squared is x squared minus 7 into negative 7 is negative 1. So we have that. But this one is not factorized completely. A lot of people would end there and they get nothing because this is not factorized. So we need now to factorize what is in the bracket. So we have 7 outside. So now let me deal with what is inside, which is x squared minus 1. This is the same as x squared minus 0x minus 1. Or here you can say plus, it's the same thing. So we have a 0x in between. So now because we have that 0x, this is a quadratic equation. How do I know? Because the highest power is a 2. So it's a quadratic equation. So if it's a quadratic equation, this is written in the form as x squared plus b x plus c equals 0. Where a is a 1, b is a 0, c is a negative 1. So if you notice, we need to look for the product. What's the product? The product is AC, A times C, which is AC. So AC, where this is a 1, which is A, then we have a negative 1. So meaning the product is equal to negative 1 times positive 1, which is negative 1. Then the sum is equal to the coefficient of X, which is in this case, is 0. That's the sum. So we are looking for two numbers. In such a way that when we multiply them, they will give us negative 1. When we sum them, they will give us 0. In this case, it's the same. We are going to have negative 1 and positive 1. So I can now deal with this one. So our factors, which is 1 and negative 1. So we are going to say we have x squared plus, now wherever there is 0, we are going to put 1x minus 1x, which is 0x. So in here, we are going to put this expression. So it's going to be 1x minus 1x. Then we continue from here, negative 1. Then I can just rearrange this one so that it's easier for me to work with them. So I'm going to bring this one here so that I don't spend a lot of time. So it's going to be x plus x. So now this one has gone this side, then minus 1. Why am I doing that? It's easier to quickly work with them. But even if you maintain the same, by this one you avoid the possibility of you making an error. So we are going to have now... What is common between these two is x. So it will be x outside. x into x square, we are going to remain with x. x into negative x is a, a minus 1. Then here what is common is a 1. So plus 1. x into x divided by 1 is x. 1 into negative 1 is negative 1. The tricky is these two need to be the same. If they are the same, then you're good to go. If they're different, we've made a mistake. Then I can factor out these two that are the same. So it will be x minus 1 out. Then into this one, I would mean with x. Into this one, I would mean with a 1, so plus 1. 
so I have this then don't forget the 7 that we put here so it's going to be now 7 multiply by x minus 1 multiply by x plus 1 this is the answer that you get if you can do that then you're good to go to get these two marks so this is how you answer this question don't forget to join me in the next episode as we look at question 5